If you enjoyed the content of the video, kindly click the like button. Please don't forget to tell your friends. Please share on Telegram, WhatsApp and Facebook groups. In the comments box, please list any prayers you would like to ask for. Please subscribe and click the bell button if you are watching for the first time. By clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Thank you. To Mother Mary's protection family, a very happy morning. I ask our beloved Jesus, Mama Mary and Saint Joseph to bless you all and keep you happy and healthy and bring you all joy today. Today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections, January 31, 2023, Tuesday of the fourth week in ordinary time. Memorial of Saint John Bosco, priest. Prayer to Saint John Bosco. O Saint John Bosco, father and teacher of youth, who labor so much for the salvation of souls, be our guide in seeking the good of our souls and the salvation of our neighbor. Help us to be mindful of all our actions and to practice daily our faith. Teach us to love Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, Mary help of Christians, and our Holy Father, the Pope, and obtain for us the grace of living and dying as friends of God, so that we may all be gathered together with you in heaven. Amen. St. John Bosco, pray for us. First reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews, chapter 12, verses 1 to 4. Brothers and sisters, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us rid ourselves of every burden and sin that clings to us and persevere in running the race that lies before us, while keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and perfecter of faith. For the sake of the joy that lay before him, Jesus endured the cross, despising its shame, and has taken his seat at the right of the throne of God. Consider how he endured such opposition from sinners, in order that you may not grow weary and lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted, to the point of shedding blood. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Response real psalm, your response, they will praise you, Lord, who long for you. I will fulfill my vows before those who fear him. The lowly shall eat their fill. They who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your hearts be ever merry. Your response, they will praise you, Lord, who long for you. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall bow down before him. To him alone shall bow down all who sleep in the earth. Before him shall bend all who go down into the dust. Your response, they will praise you, Lord, who long for you. And to him my soul shall live, my descendants shall serve him. That the coming generation be told of the Lord, that they may proclaim to your people yet to be born the justice he has shown. Your response, they will praise you, Lord, who long for you. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia, Christ took away our infirmities and bore our diseases. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 5 verses 21 to 43. When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him and he stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials named Jairus came forward. Seeing him, he fell at his feet 
and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come lay your hands on her, that she may get well and live. He went off with him, and a large crowd followed him. There was a woman afflicted with hemorrhages for twelve years. She had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors, and had spent all that she had. Yet she was not helped, but only grew worse. She had heard about Jesus, and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. She said, If I but touch his clothes, I shall be cured. Immediately her flow of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Jesus, aware at once that the power had gone out from him, turned around in the crowd and asked, Who has touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, You see how the crowd is pressing upon you, and yet you ask, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. The woman, realizing what had happened to her, approached in fear and trembling. She fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. While he was still speaking, people from the synagogue official's house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Disregarding the message that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid, just have faith. He did not allow anyone to accompany him inside except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he caught sight of a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead but asleep, and they ridiculed him. Then he put them all out. He took along the child's father and mother and those who were with him and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hand and said to her, Talitakum, which means, little girl, I say to you, arise. The girl, a child of twelve, arose immediately and walked around. At that they were utterly astounded. He gave strict orders that no one should know this and said that she should be given something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. My dearly beloved friends, everyone in the world works for money, recognition, praise or a medal. Some of us occasionally praise God, but we do so in our hearts because we believe our efforts and our work are admirable. Few people fully credit God with all that they accomplished while acting in the Lord's name. However, our human minds are limited, and so is the glory we give to God. Nevertheless, dear friends, in order to bring Jesus' people salvation and glory, our Lord endured the suffering of the cross. Jesus possesses such power, yet he does not use it to exalt himself. Jesus did indeed receive glory when the Father raised him to sit at his right hand. 
So, dear friends, from today's mass readings, Jesus is teaching us to love, accept, and embrace everyone as fellow children of God and to bring healing and peace in his name. Finally, God will exalt us to his kingdom on the last day. Let's have faith, my dearly beloved friends, because it is the only thing that will help us move from a life of fear to one of peace, from one of suffering to one of healing, and from a place of wandering to one of being near Jesus. and from a place of wandering to one of being near Jesus. Since each of us is on a spiritual journey, let's hold hands in prayer and walk side by side. Prayer. Thank you, Lord, for providing my family and I with all the blessings we could possibly need, especially my good health, which allows me to read, consider, and preach your word on my YouTube channel. Lord, continue to bring your healing powers to us. All who believe, pour out your spirit on them. And for those who need, give them your help, your healing, your hope, and your peace. For the glory of your name and the Father. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, let us meet in the next video with another new healing and life-giving message. Until then, may our gracious and loving God watch over you and keep you safe from all harm. Dear friends, by clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Thank you for watching. God bless you.